Oh God, please help me. Right guys, Harrison Brown back again. It is two in the morning, literally two in the morning. And today we're going to St. Abs Head near Edinburgh. It's gonna be incredible. You've got coastal cliffs. We're gonna get the drone up. It's gonna be amazing. So let's go. Here we go, guys. Okay, guys, we have arrived at St. Abs Head. I almost hit like two rabbits, three deer on the way here. The wildlife is absolutely crazy. It is looking quite windy. It is looking quite cloudy. However, I still think we're gonna get an amazing blue hour and the walk is literally to my right. So let's go. Here's the sign just here, guys. So St. Ab's head should be this way. Right, guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see around me at the moment, but the sun is beginning to come up. It's gonna be up in like 45 minutes. I've got my telezoom lens with me today. So I've got my 70 to 200 mil. Finally came in the post so we can test that out today. Hopefully get some nice nature shots on my Instagram as per. And see, as soon as you step out in St. Ab's, you can really smell like fish and like the sea because it's so strong. There's so many seabirds here and you can hear the seagulls around me probably. There's so much wildlife, so I'm really, really excited. Let's keep walking this way and see what we find. So guys, just a pre-warning, as I'm walking towards these cliffs at St. Ab's Head, I can feel the wind beginning to pick up. So if the audio goes a bit rubbish, then you know why. Guys, we have just arrived at the beginning of the trail and take a look at this, take a look at this. Oh my God, that is crazy. We are going to continue round this path at the moment all the way up to the lighthouse before we stop and get some nice photos, but please excuse the audio if it goes bad. I have a feeling the wind is going to pick up because the waves are quite strong, so let's see how it goes. Look at this for a path, guys. Look at that. Tell you what, guys, I would not want to take a tumble off any of these cliffs. It is a long way down a very long, very steep way down. And I just realized that I have forgotten my ND filter and I'm furious, but it should be fine. We'll mess with the apertures and just make sure that shutter speed is double your frame rate. It should be all right, but look, well, look at this long way down. Look at this. That is a big fall. Wow, that is steep. See that pinky hue in the horizon over there? That is sunrise so hopefully that is a nice one and it puts the sky into a sort of orangey pink color but it does look pretty pretty cloud cover so we'll have to wait and see and look at the ocean here look at this guys look at this beach i'm just going to quickly get a long exposure of the sea and the rocks just over here there's a nice composition of three kind of rocks and then we'll keep going Right, long exposure is complete. There was actually like a little fishing boat. I'll show you guys the image that went past and you can see a little red trail of kind of like the light of the fishing boat. So we're gonna continue up to the lighthouse at the moment and try and not fall while I'm at it. Oh my God. And see if we can get some more long exposure, some more nice stuff, but I absolutely love this. I love this time in the morning, no one around the place to yourself, long exposures to your heart content. Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. Okay guys, I know I keep getting distracted, but now I'm actually, I'm actually finally going to this lighthouse. And then we can get the drone up, get some nice cinematic sequences. And I actually got the drone back from sending it off for repair. 400 pounds, mental. But I've got it back, gonna get some nice cinematic stuff. Right guys, we have arrived at the lighthouse just behind me there. It looks gorgeous. So I'm just getting some photos of it at the moment. We'll get some nice long exposures again. They'll be featured on my Instagram. Hopefully get the drone up and do a cinematic sequence. Let's go.
Right guys, I'm not sure if you can hear me at the moment from the sounds of the waves. I am in the cliffs after that little montage up at the lighthouse over there. I'm now in the cliffs and have a look at this. That is all birds up there. All of that is birds. They are everywhere. Absolutely insane, this is mental. So I'm gonna get some wildlife photography. I'm not gonna get the drone up here because it was scared the wildlife. So it's important that you remember that, respect the wildlife. And, but I'm just gonna get some wildlife photography. This is absolutely crazy. There's thousands of them. This is absolutely crazy, guys. I've just got some B-roll there. I can literally hardly hear myself over the amount of birds. And take a look at this, take a look at this. See all those dots in the sea? Every single one of those little dots? Well, that is all birds. Every single one of them. I'm not gonna lie here, guys. I am so surprised I've not been shit on yet. <laughs> right, guys, I made my way out of that bird nest, that bird hive. That was mental. It was literally like a beehive, apart from tons and tons and thousands of birds. That was crazy. So I'm standing over the cliffs at the moment just here. And I might be able to get the drone up a little bit later. There's still too many birds around. I don't want to disturb the wildlife. So I'm gonna take a couple of steps back before I do that. And also guys, the rain is on the way. And as you can see all that. So I will need to get a move soon, but my God, this place is stunning. As per usual, all the images, oh my God, a seagull just nearly flew into me. As per usual, all the images will be featured on my Instagram. And while I have you here, if you could hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, I'd really, really appreciate it. It really helps me. And you'd get to see me do more of this stupid stuff, so that'd be good. <laughs> the scenery here, guys, is incredible. It's like Scotland's finest scenery. Look, look behind me. Rolling fields, cliffs with the sea, smashing off the rocks. It is incredible. So St. Abs is definitely a must see, I have to say. About a two hour drive from Glasgow, maybe an hour drive from Edinburgh. Definitely worth that. I would even hire a car, Airbnb or a cottage and stay here for a bit. Like, look at, look at this. Do you see that? Oh, right, look at this, guys. Look at this, wait a minute. Look at this. Okay, time to get the drone up again. There's hardly any birds around this part. Not like one one thousandth of as many as there was in the other bit. So we'll get the drone up here, get some nice cinematic stuff with the cliffs, and then we'll start to head back because I'm not sure you can see behind me, but there's a weather front coming in and it looks like a storm. So I have to say guys, that 70 to 200 2.8 lens is incredible. I've really enjoyed using it so far. The photography and photos you get out of it are mental, like I'm talking mental. It's so quick, like autofocus is so quick. Like wildlife photography can be really, really difficult because of how fast things are, but that made it a hell of a lot easier. So I'm very, very impressed. So we're gonna keep walking back this way and we're gonna see if we can see anything else that's cool and uh, maybe get a bite of lunch. I've got a good place that I can recommend that I'll go get lunch. And yeah, let's see what we can see. You know what's pretty mental? I have been up since 1 a.m. and it's only quarter past seven. And I have done all that. This is why you need to smash those early mornings. There is no better time. It's so quiet and peaceful and I love it. By the way, this walk is absolutely stunning. There's rolling fields all around me. There's sort of a pond, kind of like a lake, wee lake down there. This place is mental. Do you guys see the wee rabbits? Do you see their white tails? Just over here. See if I move. Yeah, see that one there? There's like four of them. So if you watch my videos a lot, you'll know that there's a common theme that runs through about 80% of them. And that's going the wrong way. <laughs> and I think I've gone the wrong way. See this road over here, like running down this hill, like here? I think I'm meant to be on that road. And well, I'm not. So I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I can link back up with it. 
but I do think I might have gone the long way. Having said that, it's not a bad thing because I get to spend time with the sheep and the lambs, look. So that is the top of the lighthouse just there. So that must mean that I'm on the right path. <laughs> oh, why does this always happen to me? Well, it turns out that we found a reservoir. That's class. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Look at that. That's stunning. I have literally just sat here for the last like 20 minutes just like listening to the birds and how beautiful it is. It's incredible. There's a swan over here as well and the reflections are amazing. I got some amazing photos. Oh, I love this place. Look at the wee rabbit guys. Do you see that? Just there. It's literally just staring at me. Mr. Rabbit. Oh, I'm running away. I am back at these cliffs at the moment. So I know that I'm almost home. I'm almost back to the car. Let me get some lunch. Is it lunch time or is it breakfast time? I don't even know. And I'm also thinking maybe I should get the drone up just, just one last time, just to, just to take in as much as we can. That is me taking the last few drone shots and what a day. The weather is definitely moving in a rainy direction. <laughs> Typical for Scotland, but the, the city actually, or not the city, the town over here. Look at how incredible that looks. Literally the town is sat on cliffs. Like that is amazing. So we're gonna walk back to the car, hopefully go to that little restaurant that I know that I can show you guys and we'll see what we can see. What a view, look at that. What an incredible walk. So guys, we have a little bit of a problem. The problem being that the restaurant is closed. To be honest, I don't really know what I was expecting because it's like half seven on a Friday morning. But listen, we're just gonna have to go back to the house to get breakfast. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the next vlog.